All right, so I put it on Facebook the other day. Um, this is my 2022 uh, 255 Sea Hunt Ultra. Um, a lot of questions over it when I, sorry about the glare, I'm shooting this on my phone, so please forgive the shakiness of it. Um, when I was doing my research on this boat, I couldn't find much. Um, there wasn't much like walkthroughs and details and I was really nervous about some things so take about 10 or 15 minutes here kind of go through and show you some things um, so trim tabs this is the 2022 uh, Yamaha white motor I'm actually very excited about that with the new steering mechanism um, the electronic steering which is new to me but I'll be honest with you I, I absolutely love it um, rear stowaway hanker um, could have been a little bigger I think uh, your your ladder here kind of goes through that compartment. Um, it's been raining a lot here. And then there's the compartment here. Kind of told my family that ladder is only going to be for if somebody falls off the boat. Obviously to get back in. Um, trim tabs, we'll talk about more of those up there. The plug is a screw-in brass plug. So there's two flush ports for this motor. Uh, one on the motor, which is a standard Yamaha. And then they put a motor flush on here for docking. Um, so that way if you're on the dock... You can run it through. Um, you can see there's even like a little hole right here to run a hose pipe through. Um, I've had no problems out of the motor. Uh, pretty heavy duty tie downs. I have a Magic Tilt trailer. Uh, it came with the boat from the dealer. I've uh, been impressed with it. Side entry door. I see a lot of complaints about this, but my dealer and I kind of talked about it. This has some wiggle room, guys. Um, it does wiggle. It's not super, super tight. Uh, a lot of things I've seen is cracking and stuff through here. Uh, one of the things that my dealer told me, and I agree with too, is you got to make sure this is closed and tied down before you start bumping around. Uh, door latch just opens and allows you to step in. Uh, the ladder, uh, I'm not going to pull it out to my center console. I had to buy a skateboard tape for it and wrap it. I watched three people fall of it, off of it the first day. And then the plastic piece that sits right here, um, both the screws came out, so I kind of redid those with some better screws. Obviously, it's a minor thing, but up on the uh, inside of the boat, uh, live well is under here. Um, I have used it. I've uh, been out fishing a couple of times. Uh, not a bad thing. I, not a bad spot for it. It's kind of out of the way, so if I'm not fishing the family. I know one of the questions was, was you know, how do you get down here to your bilges and your pumps? Here's all your bilges, your pumps, um, your fresh water tank. I kind of like the easy access to the fresh water tank. So that's kind of all right here. One thing I don't like is where the fresh water is located. Um, I keep meaning to put a string on this to get it out. But I I guess it's because it's right here closer to the door. I'd have liked it seen around the console. Um, but here nor there. Uh, next one. So this is your five-gallon bucket. You can see I got my soap and my cast net in there. And then underneath, more access to hoses and lines and what have you. Um, love the cushions. Uh, I've had great uh, dealings with the cushions. I don't have any of them in the boat right now. Uh, speakers, stereo. I have a standard JL stereo. They're pretty nice. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Here's your saltwater rinse downs located there. You can see, like I said, I've been fishing. One thing with 2022, I believe, which was normal uh, or new, is cup holder rod holders. I really enjoy having these in the front and the rear, especially when I'm fishing. Uh, water, fresh water fill ups back here. Nice little platform back here uh, with a handle. Uh, we go out to the sandbars or we go out to the islands and anchor out. It's really nice for the kids to be able to sit on. So I did the back seat with the cooler. Um, the cooler's not bad. Uh, it didn't have a plug in it. I gotta find a way to plug it or I haven't found the plug yet. Uh, but I really enjoy the seat. Cup holders are kind of in the way, I feel. But I walk back and forth. One thing I really have enjoyed though is this storage. Uh, that's that's storage on a boat is you know limited but that under the seat storage there has been great so we'll go through here like I said forgive me uh, it's been raining a lot so the console is a little dirty um, I got a 12 inch Garmin touchscreen this is the wireless phone charger that you've been hearing about it works okay without the case um, JL audio one thing I've noticed with this is is I got moisture in this the other day um, as you can see my cup's been sitting right here and I got moisture in this and it just the whole head unit kind of 
started acting up. Kept saying that there was a USB in it and there wasn't, but it was just moisture, so that was my fault. All my switches, uh, misters underwater. I haven't had any problem out of the misters. I know that's a common fresh water rinse down. I have not done anything with the onboard toilet. Probably won't. Haven't even unwrapped it. Um, I only run about 20 miles offshore. Uh, the Yamaha heads up center. All right, electronic throttle. <laughs> so there is no feedback at all. Uh, first time I got on the boat, I went and took it off the trailer. I put it in reverse. I've ran boats since I was 16 years old, and I was used to that tension. And I bumped it down and shot off the trailer. Uh, it's one thing to look out for. Um, it does have, I always wondered what these were. Make sure I get in the picture. Okay, so these are to go below an idle. So if you go to forward and you start pressing the button down, obviously it'll actually take you down. So it'll spin the prop, stop, spin the prop, stop. Um, almost like a spot lock. Um, I'm still kind of playing with it. Neutral hold is, a, I like that feature, especially when I'm uh, anchoring with the kids. I can hit neutral hold. You can do whatever you want to the throttle. It'll rev up, it'll rev you know down, but it won't spin the prop. Uh, trim tabs. I've never had trim tabs that actually have indicators on them. I've always done it by feel. Uh, so this is pretty neat. I like the all up, all down buttons. That's really, really nice. Um, do have my Garmin VHF up here with the Garmin system I got. All my spreaders, all my lights and everything. I really enjoyed having all those. Uh, definitely seeing a lot of people put more of these up here, uh, the holders. So I enjoyed that. Like I said, I apologize again for the shaky camera. Good oversized cleats. Uh, that was a good compared to my other boat. All right, another question was, is how big is this? Well, it's big. It's actually really big. Um, I have a bunch of stuff in here and I'm using it as storage right now, but you can actually step down in here. I like it, there's a little light up here. I don't know if you can see it that great. There it is. Uh, there's a little light right there. You can turn in, they have a mirror, um, but I use this. I have a six week old. My wife and my six week old will get in here when we're out and um, I put a little AC air conditioner or uh, cooler air conditioner in here and she can uh, feed the baby or keep the baby cool. As you can see, I told you I did the skateboard tape on the ladder. So I kept an extra roll of it in here just in case I need it on the other thing. Just one strip around it. All right, so access to the batteries is in the console. Both batteries are there. There's your on-off switches, your battery on and off. So big discussion the other day was, as you can see, there's only one switch for each. But then all your fuses here and your main 50 amp fuses here. Above here, if you look behind here, there's all your wiring for your console. Um, kind of opened it up. It's a lot cleaner than what uh, I'd read online. So I was kind of happy about that. This is kind of almost useless. The kids keep their cell phones there. But uh, once again, um, there's a lot of storage in here. You can see I have my backrest in here. We went fishing the other day. So that's kind of stored in here. Obviously, no storage under the seat. You get to it from the internal. Uh, these are absolutely massive. Uh, good amount of storage there. Uh, my center. You see, I have my little, my I guess that's called the entertainment stand. I don't know, the kids took it out the other day to use it. Um, you see, you will collect sand and water in this, though. Um, it's kind of difficult to clean out, in my opinion, but not a big deal. Uh, it's an old anchor. I have to buy a new anchor. I don't uh, it's an old anchor off an old boat. As you can see, I still got chips and stuff in here from the trip we had taken and some extra. I always keep extra water on the boat, but plenty of room. Um, I really like this little drawer here. Um, as you can see, it's, it's sand and stuff kind of collects in it. You got to be very careful or very thorough when cleaning. But I like the drawer. The kids uh, have two, a 12-year-old daughter. She puts her clothes in there, puts all her stuff in there. It's pretty nice. Here's your waste pump out on this side. Uh, fuel mileage, I know I'm jumping around a lot. I'm trying to do this in a hurry. Uh, fuel mileage is pretty good, actually. Um, I don't, personally don't care for the anchor storage. Um, it's very limiting on what anchor you can have in here. It's not very deep. Um, I didn't go with an automatic anchor or a windless anchor. Uh, so, that, love the two cleats up front. Like I said, the oversized cleats are nice when compared to the other brand I had. And then another rod, cup holder, rod holder there. So a couple things I want to do. So I want to put a LED light bar on it. Um, 
it's a long ride to some of the places we go fishing so we leave out early in the morning just to help me get out we have a lot of crab pots um rod holders aren't the most efficient in the floor um things i wish i, that I would i wish i could have is i'd love to have rocket launchers here um i know i got them up here but i'd love to have them here to make it a little more uh, fishing friendly or i wish i could have put them here obviously or somewhere around here uh i hope that answers a lot of questions um oh electronic steering real quick as you can see i can spin the wheel here nothing happens back there until the ignition is on um you're not gonna not gonna be able to do anything obviously some birds have been sitting in my console during the rainstorms uh other thing i wish i would have done to the boat is put a um second unit i am going to put a radar and a second unit on eventually uh something cool i found out is the garmin has the hdmi hookup so i have a six week old who will start watching cartoons soon so i'm actually gonna buy a little video player for her all right i think that's it guys if you have any more questions feel free uh i'm kind of in a rush today to do this i've been trying to get it done the last couple days first time the weather's allowed it so thank you